Nithinandam everyone, or eternal bliss to you all. Welcome back to the Kundalini Yogini. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to do so to follow my journey of conscious living and helping us all achieve this lifestyle more and more with every part of our day. So today I am excited to talk to you guys about dreadlocks. Um, and actually in India, in the Hindu spiritual tradition, they're called a different word. They're called jatas. And I have a whole lot of them. I know you can't tell right now, but you can see my giant bun. You can see this is one of the many fun hairstyles you can do with them. So I'm just going to show you guys all the what I'm working with here. So I have 36 jatas, but they're extremely long. I had very long hair actually when I first got my dreadlocks about a year and a half ago. I've had them for about a year and a half now. And my hair was very long. I made them all myself uh, with the crochet method, but that's a separate video, so don't worry about that. Um, if you guys are familiar with that, I did them all that way. Actually, my husband made two of them, I think, and then I made the rest. <laughs> so it took me about three or four days, I think, to complete them all. You can see I got a lot going on here. So these are my giant and long <laughs> jatas or dreadlocks. Now, I just wanted to share with you guys uh, a few pros and cons of having them. I get this question a lot, and especially lately, I've been getting a lot of comments about making videos like this, so I decided I'll, I'll start, start it off with a pros and cons video. Now, I wanted to, first, first pro that I wanted to share with you guys, which is something you might not hear all the time, is the spiritual benefit. So there's actually, for me, the biggest pro, the reason why I got them in the first place was not for convenience or ease or anything like that. Um, or to be trendy. It was actually just for the spiritual or conscious lifestyle benefits of having them. And I'll get into that a little later in the video. Um, but I want to address first some of the most common questions with dreadlocks that you guys probably are wondering yourselves, especially if you don't have them. Uh, for example, how do you take care of them? How often do you wash your hair? Uh, how can you, like, how does it feel? You know, all these kind of things. And do you miss your hair? All these things. And yes, so Everyone is a little different with dreadlocks. That's kind of the cool thing. I found, because um, I know in my spiritual community, I live here in India, there's about hundreds of us who all have dreadlocks. We, all of us are part of the Hindu tradition of, of, of uh, Shaivites. We all have jatas, just like Shiva did when he was on earth. So I know many different types of hairstyles, ethnicities, uh, lengths, colors, everything. And everyone's a little different with how they take care of them. Um, but the good news is, no, they don't have to be smelly and you don't have to be dirty to have them. This was definitely one of my judgments I made before I had them. Uh, when I was younger, I definitely thought they were really disgusting and it meant you never washed your hair. This is actually wrong. Um, the good thing is, though, this is a pro, you have the choice of how much you take care of them. So one person can be totally different from someone else, so I don't want to speak for everyone. There are some people I know that never wash their jatas. There are some people that wash them every other day. There's some people that wash them every few weeks. Um, so it's really a lot in your hands um, and it has to do also with how they're going to kind of turn out because the more you wash them, it, depending on your hair type, um, it might just kind of make them a little looser and you might just lose your baby hairs at the root and make them a little messier looking. Um, but if you still enjoy having cleaner hair like I do, um, I still wash them probably like every other week or so. Um, and, I, and I wash the front part, if you can tell, I actually have the front part of my hair undreaded. Um, so that part I wash consistently like I would normal hair. So I really enjoy it because I still I'm constantly getting stimulation I'm still cleaning myself. My hair doesn't smell um, But maintenance is also really important with them So how exactly do you take care of and wash them is another question um, and this is also a pro I think uh, Is that they require a lot less than normal hair and this kind of goes back to the spiritual principle uh, We follow actually in Hinduism which, which is a parigraha which sometimes is translated as minimal living, living with minimal things. But what it more accurately means is living closer in tune with your nature. So what that means is, for example, if you put somebody who's grown up in LA their whole life in the middle of the forest, they're not gonna know what the heck to do. They're like, I don't have my smartphone, I don't have running water, I don't have food in my fridge. But if you put someone who's used to living a lifestyle more raw, they can survive in that type of circumstance. So I love that concept because it goes for the same thing. Like say for example, I'm like traveling for like many weeks or backpacking or for whatever reason, I'm kind of moving around a lot. I don't have to wash my hair and it won't look bad and it actually maintains itself. So 
that's a huge pro with, with having dreadlocks is that is that it's a huge convenience, especially if you're living an active lifestyle, you're traveling, you're really outdoorsy. Like I love having them for that reason. So a con that you might be wondering is, yes, it does suck that you can't play with your hair or scratch your head as much as you used to. I think that's the biggest con for me as someone who loved like fiddling around with their hair all the time. Um, you do miss a good head scratching. Uh, so you have to be smart about getting tools that can help you do that, which actually do exist. Like I just purchased, which I'm so grateful for, this uh, kind of a hair pick that you can actually scratch your scalp with without ruining your dreadlocks. So I love having that at my disposal. Um, but there's many ways you can, you can deal with that. But it definitely is not as nice. You can't touch your hair, it's not soft. You can't play with it as much uh, as you might have used to. So another pro is actually the hairstyles you can do with them. So I will make a whole separate video about this if you guys are interested. Um, but basically there's so many fun things you can do like you saw in the beginning I had them up in a big bun and the coolest thing about it is they are their own They're self-adhesive <laughs> So you don't need any hair accessories or hair bands. They're like velcro to each other It's really interesting. So whether you do a high ponytail you have a bun you have cool braids They can they actually stick to each other basically and you can use like another one another one jot that as like your hair bands, so you can wrap them around and there's like really cool things you can do. Especially with braids, they look really badass down the back of your head when you have a bunch of jatas. Oh, cue the rain once again in, my, in the middle of my video. This is our filming time usually around the afternoon and it's been raining like consistently every day here. Monsoon, monsoon season is upon us very soon. Um, another con, which is also a pro, right? So there's benefits to having them in terms of ease of care, but there's also there's also things that are actually harder to take care of. For example, all the little loose hairs when your hair starts growing out or where you wash your hair and your baby hair start coming out, that is a pain in the butt to fix. You have to constantly touch them up if you, if you want to make them look good, which I'm usually way too lazy to. I just got mine touched up for the first time in, I don't even know, over like maybe seven or eight months uh, since I got them touched up. So they were going a little crazy. I had like all these little baby hairs like going out the sides of my head. That's not a fun thing to deal with and I'm super lazy and it takes a lot of time and energy to fix them. So that's definitely a downside. Um, another kind of con is yes, they can smell if you don't take care of them properly. Um, I'll make a whole video actually about Jata maintenance, how you actually take care of dreadlocks in like all natural vegan ways, which is obviously what I follow. Um, you can really use amazing products out there. I found some really great brands, which I'm excited to share with you guys. And I'm not sponsored by them. I actually just really love their products. So I'll share with you guys about those also. Um, and the last thing I want to share with you guys is the biggest pro of all, the reason why I have them, is the spiritual benefit. That many, many ancient cultures, but originally from the Vedic civilization, which was the ancient Indian civilization of Sanatana Hindu Dharma, is where they actually come from. Um, actually, even if you check, uh, like if you Google search it, it'll, you'll start to find information like this. It's becoming more well known. And it was one of the very first ancient civilizations to wear their hair in this style. Um, and the reason for this was spiritual benefit. Our hair is our energy center, just like a lot of native cultures believe. We store energy here and our crown chakra in, in the Hindu understanding of the body is at the top of the head. So when we keep the hair tied, we don't lose any hair, means we don't lose any energy. And we have stimulation where we're actually having the hair actually being kind of pulled by the jatas, by the weight of each dreadlock. It actually stimulates our higher energy centers and our higher consciousness. So, and there's more about this. I actually made a, a video about this a long time ago, so I'll, I'll um, tag it down below for you guys if you're interested in seeing more about the spiritual context of why we have them. But that's definitely the biggest pro for me. Overall, they're really a great experience that I've had for the last year and a half. I, I really love them more than I thought I ever would. I was never interested in getting them, um, but they're really a, an amazing contribution to my life and the ease of my lifestyle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have further questions. If you wanna see videos about anything specific with dreadlocks, if you wanna see the different styles that we wear, um, we actually have really cool traditional styles we wear here, which is part of like ancient Indian culture that are really trippy hairstyles. So they're cool to show. If you're interested in that, I can make a video as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Nithinato.